Hi, it's Richard from Fun Fit Adventure. We're here today to show you the Hero Ranger Columbus model, and this is the limited edition in dark grey. So currently at the minute, there's a dark grey edition, there's a green edition, and also a blue edition. So this seems to be the most popular at the moment is the, is the dark grey, but it is the Columbus spec. So you can only get the colours, the limited edition colours, in the in the actual Columbus spec. There's a couple of other packages below the Columbus. So this is the the top of the range spec. We've done a video before on the on the package down, which is the the Livingston. And what we thought we'd do is while we've got this Columbus here, just about to head off to a, a customer today, we thought we'd show you quickly show you around and show you some of the features on the on the Columbus model. So we'll start at the front. We walk around. It's a bit windy today, so I'm starting on this side of the Ranger, and uh, and we'll go around the other side. But uh, hopefully the wind won't be too bad for the um, for the sound quality. But we'll see how we get on. So let's start at the front. Now on the front there, we're actually hitched up to the vehicle at the moment, and um, the Ranger. It's the same. It's the same chassis as all the Rangers. It's a German knot chassis. And uh, the chassis is capable of, of, um, of holding 1,200 kilograms of weight, and uh, that's total load. Now, you, there is an upgrade available to 1,300, but uh, most people tend to stick to the 1,200. It gives you quite a lot of weight to be able to carry all your gear and uh, add on extra bits and pieces as well. So the, um, the, the total weight of the Ranger is 827 kilograms. But then as you add on other accessories, that weight goes up. So the, the Columbus model is around about the 850 mark. But if you want to know specifically exactly what each accessory weighs and the total weight, just let me know and we can we can work all that out for you. We've got all the, all the figures for each accessory. So we're plugged into the vehicle at the minute. We've got 13 pin electrics on the front there. 13 pin, not the seven pin. So it's the, it's the European standard of 13 pin. And that means we've got a couple of pins in there that actually charge the the house batteries inside the caravan as we're driving along so that'll charge up there's a charge controller a dc dc charge controller on the inside which we'll show you when we get in there and then on the front here we've also got uh, a stabilizer leg so that stabilizer leg is now standard across the range of ranges on all the packages and uh, gives you another another leg on the front there opposite the the jockey wheel now also on the front there we've got the we've got the gas box or storage box on the front so enough storage in there you can put your awning bits and pieces maybe some of your dirty gear and uh, and also gas bottles as well so it's uh, it's a reasonable size it's got a couple of little straps inside so you can actually strap the gas bottles down to it and then on the front here we've got a, a 150 watt solar panel and that's uh, flat you can see molded into the front there and uh, it's in that position and um rather than being sort of towards the top, because if you're carrying loads on the top or if you've got the rooftop tent option on the top, then this gives um, a good visibility for the sunshine as long as you're pointing in the right direction, hopefully so, um, to get the maximum benefit from the from the solar panel. So we'll have a look around this side. The, um, the, the range has changed a little bit for 2021. It's got much more of a, you can see that the front has got the black stabilizer. All the trims are now, are now black around the outside. And the black stabilizers on the back so you've got that uh, the standard color being white and you've got that sort of black and white and you'll see the cabinets are also now black on the on the inside in the kitchen and uh, and inside the sleeping area so we'll have a look around this side we've got the we've got the ladder here for access in the roof so of course you can climb on here these are the checker plate defenders on the columbus so rather than the smooth finish you can see it's got the uh, got the checker plate on there as well and then on the top there, we've got the sky rack, which is standard with every Hero Ranger. And the sky rack's actually got a little cutout in the middle where the roof window lifts up into. We'll show you the roof window when we get to the inside. And then, of course, again, with all the Rangers, we've got the, uh, we've got the driving lights. So we get our lights both back and front on up here. And we've also got the lights on the fenders, which give you a really good guide when you're driving along where the fenders are. Um, if you're pulling off the road into uh, hedges or that sort of thing. So let's have a look around the back. We've got the back stabilizers. I'll just show you how the stabilizers work. So they're very simple. We've got a clamp. We undo the clamp. And then the stabilizer leg drops down. And then we do the clamp up. So easy as that. Put that back up again. 
it's got a little stopper on the bottom so you can only pull it up so far and then lock it out lock it into position we opened up the kitchen at the back here so i'll stay around here a little bit because of the wind but uh, kitchen opens up and then we've got a rain protector that runs along the top here now on the inside here we have the control panel so if i put the kitchen lights on you see the we've got the led strip along the top there and from the uh, from the control panel here we can also control the lights on the inside as well as the outside lights on that side so that's all controlled there we've got two main sockets as well as a, a 12 volt socket here as well now along the back of the kitchen we've got two metal rails and you can use those in lots of different ways you can get little pockets that you can add on to add on to here you can hang your utensils on it so everyone tends to use it in a, in a different way you've got your full stainless steel surface here and then the sink on this side now this has changed for the ranges this year so the sink used to be in the middle and now the sink is uh, has come to this side which gives you a lot, not a nice uh, work surface to work with and to put whatever stove whether you're using an induction hob off the mains or whether you're using a double gas burner with your gas bottle down there depending on what uh, what stove that you decide to use we've got the, the tap here which runs from the water tank which is behind this drawer here so you've got a 30 litre water tank now in the range and that's standard across the range and you'll see we've got the black cabinets now and the black cabinets soft shut and then lock and buttons on the top there the middle drawer we've got the fridge so we have a 12 litre 12 volt compressor fridge in here and that comes as standard with the with the Columbus. It's plugged into the 12 volts at the moment. And it's also got a little USB output port there for charging with as well. And you can set the temperature so it is thermostatically controlled. And lift them out. And that is your fridge there. So just a small fridge, but enough for the enough for the essentials. Close that up. And then you've got your three drawers here. You've got the uh, deeper drawer. At the bottom there we've got the little drawer liners in there as well and then you've got your two utensil drawers one there and then there's your top one so that's the kitchen and the um what i'll do is i'll take off this rain protector it just comes off like this and goes down for driving and you'll see we've got a, a little strut here we lift it up a little bit push against there down it comes we'll close that down okay now on this side of the ranger we have at the back here another stabilizer leg and then on the side here we've actually got the water filler so we fill that water tank that you saw inside behind the drawers just on the side here we've got the checker plated fenders again and then you've also got the spare wheel which is standard on the columbus mounted on the side nice alloy wheels with your with your off-road all-terrain tires and then on this side we've also got the the outside light i'll pop that on so you can see that there we go so that's the light on that side and we've also got the the Thule omnister awning so on the columbus this is the larger awning so this is the three meter awning and and then it'll come out two and a half is this way but uh, three meters in length so that also comes with all the walls that comes as standard with the columbus and also in, in terms of awnings along the back here there's a bit of track that runs along the back of the kitchen and when the door is lifted up there's a big kitchen awning that comes out and it comes down to around here it tapers out with windows in we've got some pictures of that on the on the website and the columbus model comes as standard with the with the kitchen on as well so the columbus model really comes standard with everything you need all of the essentials all the awnings and the only really couple of things to think about are the battery setup maybe upgrading the battery depending on how much off-grid camping you're going to be doing and also what heating you would like installed so the columbus doesn't come with any heating but then you've got options of an electric heater a gas heater and also a diesel heater this has got the electric heating installed which will show you on the inside when we have a look have a look in so have a little look at the doors maybe go around this side where it's less windy okay so 
the doors. Both both sides have got the little magazine nets on the uh, on the side of the, the doors there. And they're both lockable from the inside, so you can see that's how you open them and then lock them like that. And then the windows, you've got a couple of blinds integrated into the windows. If I pull that down, you can see that's your uh, fly mosquito net. And if I pull it up the other way, you've got your black blackout blind. And they're just held together by a magnet, so you can undo them like that. And the windows, the windows have changed on, on all, the, all the ranges. But this year, so you'll see when I undo the catches, the window opens like that, and we can adjust it and lock it into position. So that's really great. So if you need ventilation in the evening and uh, it's raining, then the rain's going to fall on that side. The, the, the windows used to open side to side, and now we've got them open that way, which means we can open them up when the, when the weather's bad. So I'm going to close that down. Okay, maybe Sarah, if you go on that side, and we'll have a look on the on the inside. Okay, so on the inside here, we've um, we've got the black cabinets. We'll start at the back. Black cabinets at the back. Little poppers on the cabinets, and you can see the quite deep cabinets at the back. They follow the the, uh, the shape of the teardrop. But they are quite quite large cupboards, and then under the cupboards you've got this deep shelf at the back here as well. That'll be useful for for clothes and towels, that sort of thing. We've got our LED lights. We've got a strip that goes at the top here, a strip underneath, and then a strip behind the seats at the at the back. Now all these lights are dimmable, so there's three dimmable settings. There's a new battery management system in all the, the Hero Rangers and uh, and the Hero Traveler. For this year and that's down that side i don't know if you'll be able to, to see that one sarah from there so that's it there you can see from there we've got the same control as we had in the kitchen for controlling the outside light the inside lights and also dimming the lights and then on the bottom panel there we've got a water meter so we can see how much water is in the water tank we've got a master on off switch we've got our battery uh, battery voltage as well as a little night mode that turns the uh, it turns the LEDs off so they don't irritate you while you while you're asleep. So on this side, we've actually got a main socket, a couple of USB sockets, and then up here we've got the the thermostatic controller for this is the electric heating. So the electric heating will only work when you're on a, a mains hookup, and that blows hot air through the the panels down at the bottom where your feet would be. So they're sort of false panels, and it's exactly the same if you have a gas heater or the diesel heater. That's where the hot air blows through. So the heater is installed just behind the drawers in the in the kitchen area. All, all three of them are installed that way. So you can sort of have a think of what what heating you would want. Roof window at the top here, like I mentioned, we've got a little catch. Uh, the roof window comes up, clips into place like that. And you can see it just goes above the height of the, of the sky rack cut out. Okay, close that down. On the roof window, we've also got the same blind system that we can push along. We've got our mosquito net and, uh, and also the blackout blind on there as well. So this has got all of the all of the goodies in, ready to head off to the customer. So we've got our awnings here and the awning walls. We've also got on the top here a privacy curtain. Now the privacy curtain hangs on the opposite side to the Thule awning, and you'll see the pictures on our website of the privacy curtain if you have a look in the gallery. The the, the privacy curtain just hangs on the side here, and it, as you open the door, it goes into the privacy curtain, makes a nice little space for changing. You can also pop a little portable loo in there, so it essentially gives you a ensuite off this off this door. So at the back here, we've got. The, the seats here, which are actually fold forward, and behind this seat we've got the the battery management system. So at the top at the top here we've got the DC DC charger that's taking charge from the the solar panel as well as charging from the vehicle as well. And then the next one down here we've got the mains charger, so that's a ten amp um, ten amp charger down here, and uh, so that'll charge when you hooked up onto the mains. You've got your battery management system and then your main fuse box at the bottom for, for the mains power. And then you've got your lithium battery, which is here. And that, that's the basic lithium battery. So that's a 30 amp power that comes as standard with the ranges. 
and you can upgrade that. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different models of batteries and you can talk to us about what you want to do with it and what size battery would be would be most appropriate for you. And then the other seat comes forward here and you see we've got some bits and pieces behind there, but that gives you essentially a lot of storage space. It's got the handle in there so you can wind out the, the Thule side awning, but also you could store your awnings behind there or whatever, whatever you fancy. So you've got a large, long bed, and um, essentially it's um, it's it's longer than a longer than a king size. Um, it fits a loose king size sheet on here, but um, but it is a it is a long bed. So if you're quite tall, even when you you know imagine your pillows being down here, we can't really show you at the minute, but you've got a lot of a lot of space and um, down that side. So I think that's it on the inside, is it, Sarah? Right, okay, let's close up. So that is the, the Hero Ranger Columbus model. I'll stand around this side out the wind a little bit. And uh, you can see it looks amazing in the dark grey. Really stands out, looks good. Standard colours white. And, um, and then, like I say, you, you know, just get in touch and we'll let you know what limited edition colours are available at the time. And you're, you're looking at about a two to three month waiting list uh, to get a Hero Ranger. And that does vary. So, again, talk to us and we'll let you know what the current lead times are. It always gets busier heading up towards the summer. That Everybody wants them ready for the summer. So that's going to be the really busy times to try and just, you know, plan ahead. And, uh, and as soon as you place your order, we can get the, the factory slot and get our bill slots and get all the, the, the shipping organized. So any information, please get in touch. All of the information on the on the ranges, the price list, the spec list, what comes as standard, what are the additional uh, options that you can get, such as rooftop tents, and there's other few accessories that you can add to this as well. That's all on the website. There is a download where you can download all the different specs and packages. So that is www.funfitadventure.co.uk. But uh, that is the Hero Ranger Columbus. So thanks for watching.